The Kriblinik experience for me is this timeless experience that guests come in and they get to step back in time. It's just this adventure where you have dogs and guides and we all kind of work in a harmony with nature and animals. It's amazing. The sleds are the same as they were a hundred years ago. The dogs are the same as they were you know, 200 years ago. It's like a living history. The dogs are amazing. They, they love to please and we just have that mutual balance with them where they make us as happy as we make them. Our goal is to always have these just like amazing, friendly, fun dogs and they're so much different than a domestic dog. These dogs just love their jobs and they love all the guests that get to come and see them and it's just really this just positive environment. They're very active and, and they're really excited and they're working dogs so they're very focused on what their job is. You know, they're they are really wild and have a lot of energy, but they're very sweet. Dog sledding is all about being a team. So, you know, when our guides are our top team players that love what they do, they, um, they love it as much as the dogs do. And they, we just find like, basically the, the coolest people. We don't, we don't look for experience, we wanna train them. The, our different ways of working with the dogs and driving sleds and we get these just like fun open-minded people from all over the world. Even though every day we're, we push, we work hard, but I teach my guides that to sit down, look around and realize the opportunity that you have every day. We have a unique dog sledding trail. It's one of the most extreme technical trails in the world. It's all about a Rocky Mountain experience where it's not flat, it's, it's big ups and downs. And our guides are trained top notch to keep everybody safe. And uh, it's a thrilling experience. I feel that Kerblinik is a significant part of the Aspen Snowmass history. We travel with our dogs out into the back country and that, that to me is what makes the place special is that we're always going to have this just on the outskirts of town and going into the wilderness from here.